Hey everyone, welcome back to another debunking common electric vehicle misconception videos where we are debunking common misconceptions that are found on the internet. Specifically for this video, we are talking about the battery lifespan and how the common misconception states that battery packs and EVs have to be replaced after only about two to three years. Mm -hmm. So this video, we are going to be diving into battery usage reports, which are provided by our sponsor, Recurrent, later on in the video, and we are going to be targeting the Nissan LEAF for this video. So batteries today are actually a pretty commonplace, specifically lithium ion batteries, from the device that you're watching this video on, to the two fresh sets in your bathroom, to the Nissan LEAF that we were talking about today. However, with electric cars, they actually have the technology to make sure that the lifespan of that battery is actually longer than say your iPhone or the toothbrush in your bathroom. Yep, and similar to the device that you may be watching this video on, the Nissan LEAF has a factory warranty as well, specifically for the battery pack. And the battery warranty is eight years or 100,000 miles, whatever comes first for that battery or for the owner. And then uh, that warranty guarantees a retention of 60% of battery life. So if you run into any issues of that time span or the miles driven on your vehicle, Nissan will replace the battery pack, which is great. The one thing that I do wanna to touch on for the Nissan LEAF, unlike the other vehicles that we talked about in this series, the Nissan LEAF actually has an air-cooled battery. And basically what that means is that it's using ambient air temperature to cool and warm up the battery pack accordingly. So unlike similar to like the other vehicles in the series, that means that you will see a little bit more of battery degradation depending on if you're in colder temperatures or hotter temperatures. So that's one thing to bear in mind. But as we mentioned, if there is anything that does happen to your battery pack, that warranty will cover that. So now let's compare the factory battery warranty of the Nissan LEAF to the industry average of what our research has proven for combustion or gas engine warranties. Yes, yeah, so most gas engine warranties are only going to be five years and 60,000 miles based on what we've found. There obviously is a few anomalies out there in the industry. However, we have found two in our research that after you're out of that warranty, your base typical engine replacement is going to be like three to $5,000. However, with today's technology, because of how complicated new cars are, if you have hybrid technology, if you have a plug-in technology, or even just turbochargers, for example, your engine could cost anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars. Really, just depends on that technology and what materials make up your engine, and that doesn't include labor, extra parts you may need, or even all the fluids that you have to put back in that motor to get it back on the road. So now that we talked about the cost of replacing a gas engine and the factory warranty on average for a gas engine, let's talk about the cost of how much it takes to replace a Nissan Leaf battery. So what's so great about the Nissan LEAF is that it has been out for over a decade. So there's plenty of cost analysis as well as data for how much it costs to replace the battery packs. However, since the LEAF was um, first in production, there have been multiple battery packs that have been released. So we have three different bullet points for you guys. And what's so great about this is that every single battery on this list costs less than $10,000 to replace. Mm -hmm. So bear in mind when you're thinking of this compared to that gasoline engine that Tyler just went over. So the first battery pack on this list is a 30 kilowatt hour and that battery pack estimate costs about 35 to $4,500 to replace. The next one on the list is a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack and that's estimated to be about 6,500 to 75 dollars to replace and the last one on the list is a 62 kilowatt hour battery and that's estimated to be between eighty five hundred dollars to ninety five hundred dollars to replace and now bear in mind those prices that we found through our research do not include labor costs but the battery pack itself is effectively cheaper than what it would take to replace a combustion engine outside of their factory warranty so now let's dive into the reports that our sponsor Recurrent has sent us of the Nissan LEAF for their battery usage data reports. So now let's dive into the Nissan LEAF. This specific report that Recurrent provided us is a 2019 Nissan LEAF SV with less than 2,000 miles located in Seattle, Washington. So this is a brand new vehicle, but the Nissan LEAF has been out for over a decade. So Recurrent has plenty of Nissan LEAF in their fleet, which they're continuously monitoring their data points to make sure that the battery degradation is nominal for the Nissan LEAF. 
So the specific one for the month of April 2021, 35 data points were collected with an average daily miles of 1.2 uh, miles, which is typically lower than what we're seeing with other vehicles but it depends on how this driver is utilizing their vehicle and an observed charge range is anywhere between 57 to 100 percent that is slightly out of that green zone that we talked about in our other videos but we'll get to that in a second and one thing to highlight too is that this vehicle is based in the pacific northwest specifically in the seattle area where temperatures tend to be a little bit cooler compared to the other vehicles we've also analyzed within the series so now let's dive down to the range insights so this vehicle is roughly about three years old and we're still seeing an e original EPA range of 150 miles and the max range of full charge on the specific Nissan Leaf is matching that targeted range, which is fantastic. When the battery gets warm, as mentioned, the battery pack for the Nissan Leaf is air cooled. So if it's hot outside, we're going to see a little bit of a degradation or at least a less a lesser rate of um, range. Uh, and then if it's colder, we're also going to see a decrease in range as well. But as you can see, we are maintaining 150 miles, which is fantastic. That definitely goes to show you that because the temperature in Seattle is pretty moderate, the rate or state of charge in the range is looking really good for this Nissan Leaf. So now let's dive down to the charging insights for this three-year-old Leaf. Uh, this specific driver charged their car roughly about 89% on average for a state of charge, which typically, as you can see from this graph, is outside of that targeted green zone, where, as mentioned in other videos, we really want to keep it between 20 to 80%. Um, yes, you can charge to 100%, but it's definitely not recommended to do that on the daily unless you absolutely have to because you will start to see a little bit of degradation. But as you can see with this three-year-old Leaf, even if it is an air-cooled battery, the degradation for the battery is very nominal. And in fact, charging it to 100% does not appear to be impacting the range at all, which is really cool to see. So it just really goes to show you that even if a vehicle does not have battery management, the battery of the vehicle will hold out a lot longer than the common misconception is. So now let's dive down to the comparable range versus similar vehicles. So this vehicle was built in March 20, uh, 2018, and the age of the battery is roughly about three years. As mentioned, the great thing about electric vehicles is that they have fantastic battery warranties and the Nissan Leaf is no exception. The battery warranty remaining for this vehicle is five years and almost 100,000 miles left uh, either or for that battery warranty, which is just incredible. And now compared to range of similar vehicles within the fleet, you can see that the range tends to be above average in terms of the range miles. It's still within that green zone, which shows that the battery pack is holding up. There's no de degradation and that this specific leaf should have a good amount of range many years into owning this vehicle. So anyways, everybody, this is going to be it for another debunking common electric vehicle misconception video. We hope that this video provided useful facts and information to show that the common stated misconception that battery packs have to be replaced after about two to three years is simply not true and battery packs will last you a lot longer than you thought. We want to thank our sponsor Recurrent for providing their battery usage data reports and if you want to sign up for your own monthly battery data usage report, check out their website, which is recurrentauto.com. And as well as the citations and sources for our videos, we'll provide all the links in the description below for you. So now for some exciting news, we have officially launched our website. Yes, Yay. yeah. <laughs> so it is everydayevproductions.com, where you can actually purchase merchandise from our store, like this wonderful autopilot t-shirt that Brandon is wearing. We also have our latest YouTube videos in a feed, and we also have a donation box if you guys want to help us out in producing our next content, our next videos in any series that we pick. Yep. And talking about supporting Everyday EV, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to our channel. It helps us grow the brand, and we definitely appreciate all the support. And as always, if you would like this video, make sure you like and share with your friends, specifically those who are looking for more information on electric vehicles. And as always, take care, stay safe, and make every day electrifying. And we'll see you guys in the next one.